Hi everybody, welcome back. We are week number two of our online coffee and card class for October. Thank you so much for taking part and returning to see the second card in this week's, this month's class. So for this next class, next card, um, I haven't used a huge amount actually. You're not going to find a huge amount in your kit this week. Um, so the card is going to look something like this. I absolutely adore the moose moose image on this cut in this set and it's just really cute he he does everything you need him to do doesn't he so we're going to predominantly base this card around the moose you're going to need your early espresso classic stamping pad for this sentiment uh, you're going to need a memento ink pad for your stamping if you're using watercolor pens without water or stamping blends if you are using watercolor pens with water you're going to need a stays on ink pad and in your kit you have a card base you have a layer of white for the inside and you have a white circle okay now you have white card in your packs um, for all your stamping that's where you're going to take the strip for the sentiment from that okay so don't panic if you're looking for that white strip and it's not there it is purposely not there okay so we're going to start by doing a little bit of stamping and we're going to stamp onto our white circle and i'm really sorry i've told you something wrong already um we're going to stamp with mossy meadow okay so on the background of your white circle like we did with the card front of the first card we're going to stamp that branch but as a tree okay and i'm using mossy meadow for that so what you're going to do is you want to just stamp in the same way so first second and third generation or shadow stamping is sometimes called and you want to stamp that all the way across your card okay perfect so once you've done that bit you can stick this onto your card like so now you have two options you can stick it down like so and then trim off that excess with your snips up to you or you can snip that edge off with your trimmer okay i'm going to do it with my trimmer so it's definitely straight and then now i can stick that on like so There we go. So that's already started. And then next we can stamp our mousse. That's not the bit we stamp, that's the piece for inside. So don't stamp on that bit, Stacey. Okay, let's stamp our mousse. So again, I'm stamping with Memento because I'm using pencils without water. Get him stamped. He stamps beautifully, actually. And then the colours I'm going to use for this one, I'm going to use green. So I have Old Olive and Garden Green. Um, for the green areas, I need a little bit of basic grey for his skates. And then I'm going to use Early Espresso for the mousse. All right. I also want a little bit of Pecan Pie for his face. I'm going to start with the lightest shades. So I'm going to do the scarf in old olive and i'm alternating the stripes on the scarf with different colors so one red one one green one and so on and then for the skates i'm doing one in the background as green and this one over here is green so he's got not for the skates for the socks sorry he's got different colored socks don't you just love him and then I'm going to use Garden Green over the top of Old Olive because it just makes the green really, really pop. Now I don't, there isn't um, a Garden Green blend pen, so I would use Shaded Spruce if you're using blends. And I love using two colours because it really just brings depth to your image like so how cute 
And then red we want, so I'm using real red. That's the one that the nib is broken. I need to sharpen that one. Is it on real red? Yes, I'm going to put the one over there that needs the nib sharpening. We're going colouring the socks. And then the alternate stripes on the scar. Cute. So I'm going to go over the top with some hard pressure now to just really make those colours pop. And I am pushing actually quite firmly. There we go. So there is the socks coloured in. I'm going to do a little bit, a really, really light bit of basic grey on the skates. You can barely see the colour. Okay. And then I'm going to use a, um, not black, pen, sorry, the black for the blades of his ice skates. I also find with pencils, if you've got some real fine work, they just, I'm better with pencils than I am with um, blends. So now we're going to colour the whole mousse in with early espresso with a dark brown. Again, I'm not pushing too firmly yet. I'm almost putting no pressure on this pencil whatsoever. It's also really important when you're colouring with pencils that your brush strokes all go in the same direction. If you're going to swap and change, you're going to get a bit of a, a bit of an odd texture. Right. And then his snout, I'm going to colour up with pecan pie. It's ever so slightly different. The antlers, I'm going to do the same dark brown. So, and I want these to be really, really dark. So here we go with a little bit of pressure. I feel the nib in this pencil bending where it's going to... Blend it out so just make, it doesn't look so different there we go so he's got really dark antlers now and then i'm going to use this one as long as the nib doesn't break to add some darker shadowing where i think i need to darken it i think actually i've used two colors on this mousse i think i've used pecan pie over the top Let's give up with that one for the moment. So now I've done that, I'm going to go over with a little bit of pecan pie. And when you put pecan pie over the top of this, you get a really rich, ready sort of brown colour. And it just looks lovely, actually. How nice does that mousse look? He looks so nice. And then we need to do the face as well. I forgot his face. So we're sort of bringing all the colours in together here. So there we have 
the mousse and doesn't he look fab i'm just going to darken up a little bit on his snout there we go so that is mr mousse all done and i'm going to cut that out i'm also going to just quickly stamp a tree okay I'm going to stamp this little tree over here and that stays on. I don't want to stay on, I want memento. And I'm going to take my blend and I'm just going to colour in the leaves so it looks like it's a tree. So let's quickly cut those two out. There is a die for the tree as well, thank goodness. Definitely need some tape on the moose because he keeps moving. Still mode, that's very annoying. So let's just trim around the edge here. Your die cutting is obviously going to be a lot better than mine. Luckily, because this is being backed onto white, this isn't going to stand out too much. Okay. So now we get to build our mousse. So I'm going to pop him on like that on a couple of little pads. I'm going to pop him on so that his antlers are off the top. Just helps make it look a bit more special. And then I've got a tree like so. And then I said about the happy holidays, didn't I? Where did I put my little card? So happy holidays. I'm going to stamp with early espresso ink. And I want to stamp it towards the top of the piece of card, like so. Okay. And then I can trim that either with my snips or with my trimmer into a banner. Now, the width of the banner that I've gone with here, and yours may change depending on the sentiment you use, is roughly seven and a half centimetres. Okay. So I'm going to chuck, cut mine down. And then about there and yours will just be the width of whatever the sentiment is you've used okay and then this is going to get put on there okay and you want to put it on so that it sits up next to the edge of your circle and you want to be able to see a little bit of the circle popping out at the bottom and then all we've got left to do 
needs to stick our white strengthening piece in. And there we go. Card number two is also complete. Do let me know if you enjoyed making that one. Um, next week, I'll be sharing week number three. And week number three is always my favourite, as you know. And we have a trio of mice, singing mice. So come back same time next week for our trio of singing mice. I look forward to seeing you all then. Bye for now, everyone.